use our models and assumptions, we would like to share with you our recommendation for general bills, which is a solid hope. Based on our calculation, the intrinsic price for general bills is $48.68, and the target price 12 months later is $52.16, uh, with a 7.14% growth rate, and this price is also 1.51% lower than price at October 13. Graph on the right shows one year historical daily price for general wills. As you can see, the stock price in the last three months are pretty stable. So, we would like to divide our investment thesis into three aspects. The first one is the downside. We look through the newest 10K and 10Q for general bills, and we realize that all segments other than the pet food business segment are shrinking, and we don't think their sales for those segments will recover in the near future. The second is the United States and China trade war. We think the trade war will increase our cost of raw material. For the aspect of neutral, uh, from frustrating manufacturing index to the other bad signs, we think the U.S. economy is in a potential market downturn. Uh, and however, General Mills is in the defensive industry, which means uh, this company may still have sufficient demand for their product. Down to the upside, uh, we see General Mills has uh, innovation on their recipe of products like Fiber One, and they also want to expand their selling channel to online. Uh, for other part is the long and stable dividend payout history, which is really significant for dividend investors. Okay, let's move on to the competitive landscape for General Mills, and let's start with the market share. As we can see from these five um, graphs, General Mills has a leading position in each of these markets, uh, although not top, but definitely a leading position. For example, in the uh, real market, it has like 25% of the market, and in the ice cream and frozen desert market, it has like 16% of the market. And I also want to mention that for each of these markets, those companies that have a bigger pie than General Mills are different companies, which means General Mills has a very powerful, um, comprehensive competitiveness. And let's move on to the strengths of General Mills, which include diversified and well-done brandy. Uh, let's start from the left pie chart, and we can see that there are five main platforms, snacks, real, uh, convenient meals, yogurt, and super premium ice cream. These five platforms, they are projected to like um, generate a, a very attractive growth rate in the future because they are on trend with customers' uh, food interests as well as their uh, healthy lifestyles. And I also want to mention that Hagen Dazs, one of the major brands for General Mills, is right now the uh, sponsor for Wimbledon Open. And as we all know, Wimbledon Open has a lot of fancy sponsors like American Express, like HSBC, like Mercedes, and they are all like representative of world famous brands. And let's move on to the right pie chart, and this might be a little bit confusing, as these um, convenience stores and food service part, uh, it means those uh, General Mills products sold through convenience stores and food service like 7-Eleven, like gas station. Um, but others sold through supermarkets, they are counted to this low part. And only in North America, we have this kind of issues. But in Europe, in Asia, they are counted only like by region. And also this cat part is calculated separately because maybe the company wants to highlight this um, newest part and the strongest part of the firm. Um, there are many growth opportunities First one is the health trend. Um, the awareness of health incentivizes more people to uh, live in a healthy lifestyle. Um, as you can show from, uh, as you can see from the, the left side of the graph, um, low sugar, um, low uh, calories, and high fiber are eating habits that people in the United States have tried to foster. Um, a research in 2015 showed that um, the consumption of organic food in developed countries was 16.5%. And the growth rate in developed markets was like 4.8 percent. Mm. Consumers are also uh, picky because they are uh, more aware of social issues and environmental issues. Um, local firms has um, the strength to understand uh, the community better because they uh, 
adjust their recipes according to seasonal changes. Um, large firms can, act, uh, can leverage their um, capital to acquire local firms to learn more about how community eats. General Mills already has a venture uh, capital division, 301 Inc., to help them understand the local uh, food manufacturing better. Um, before we move on to our valuation, I would like to provide our um, snapshot of financial performance. Uh, for profitability, as you can see, the, the blue line here, the revenue dropped in the recent five years, but the increase in 2019 was because of uh, the acquisition of Blue Buffalo, as we mentioned earlier. And um, the gross margin also trended down over the last decade from, 30, from 40% to 35%. And um, the ongoing trade war also uh, put the pressures on the rising um, raw food material costs. The drop of uh, operating margin and net profit margin in 2015 was because of the divestiture of green giant B&G. Uh, that transaction incurred significant um, impairment loss and restructuring costs. And the increase of uh, profit margin in 2018 was due to an effect of deferred income tax uh, which accounted for 24% of the deferred uh, uh, pre-tax income. And the drop of profit margin in 2019 was because of uh, the 37 uh, increase of interest expense compared to prior year. For liquid liquidity and solvency, General Mills <coughs> has not efficiently managed uh, working capital regardless of a decreasing cash conversion cycle. Um, the downtrend of cash conversion cycle has been mainly driven by uh, the increasing base in accounts payable, as shown in the red line, from uh, 34 days in 2010 to 90 days in 2019. Um, we believe that uh, the, um, the need to pay back um, creditors um, uh, consume uh, company resources to pay back uh, suppliers. And we think that the high leverage also caused liquidity concerns. Um, that to Total, uh, total capital ratio dropped from 48 percent, uh, increased from 48 percent in 2012 to 68 percent in 2019, and the cash ratio dropped from 80 percent to 6 percent, and the credit ratio dropped from 45 percent to 30 percent over the last decade. Um, with the information of financial performance and the competitive landscape, we would like to share our insights about our valuation. So, talking about valuation, we are going to use two models. The first one is dividend discount model, because General Mills has long and stable dividend history since the 1980s. And the second model we want to use is multiples valuation, which is because you are so many similar competitors for General Mills, like QLock. The first model we would like to use is dividend discount model. And we made this model mainly on three assumptions. The first assumption is high percentage costs and low revenue. In last fiscal year, General Mills achieved 7.5% growth on their revenue. This is terrific. However, we don't think this growth will sustain because most of growth is contributed by the factory business. Also, the trade war between US and China will increase the cost for General Mills. The second assumption is the increasing operating expenses. We believe the demand of integrate Patrick into current product line of General Mills will force this company to spend more on SG&A and advertising. The second assumption is dividend ratio will slightly decrease. We made this assumption mainly based on the fact that General Mills spent $8 billion on cash to acquire Blue Buffalo, which means uh, it, this company is more likely to uh, retain their cash to pay interest expense rather than pay dividends. So, based on our three assumptions and calculation, we got the implied price for DDM, which is $53.97. As for the multiple valuation, first we have to take four comparable companies that has a similar market cap with General Mills. The, company, the comparable company that we pick are Kilowatt, Campbell Soup, Kraft & Heinz, Conagra Brand. Once we figure out the comparable, comparable company to use, we got the, the multiple of each comparable company and average them out to get the average multiples from each company. Then we bring it back to General Mills to get the implied price from each multiples. The EV over revenue implied price are 
the EV low bar EV thugs, but implied price are 46.85. The 4P implied price are 49.04. Once we got the implied price from each multiples, we then got a weighted average of multiples implied price of 46.42. Once we figure out two implied price from two alpha model, the DDM model, and the multiple valuation, we then take a weighted average of two implied price and got our final implied price of 48.68. The stock price as of October 17, October 17 2019, which is the day we run our model, is 52.95. Here are a couple investment risks that we identify as a group. First investment risk being drone mills participate in the intense competition industry, where most company in the industry has less than 4% of market share, which means there's no direct dominance in the market right now. Drone mill also has a consolidating retail environment where the largest distributor of Walmart provides generic brands that directly compete with journal mills. Another um, big sales figure we have is pet food. We sell a lot of pet foods through pet super store chain, which are already experiencing reduction in store traffic now um, in recent years. We believe the reduction in store traffic will definitely impact our pet food sales. Another investment risk that we identify will be international operation, being 26% come from our come from overseas with the ongoing trade war. Our overseas sales figure will definitely be impacted. The last investment risk we identify will be a substantial amount of indebtedness where the dividend payout will be less stable, which will make our investor less patient and less confident in the, in the journal mills. In conclusion, we give a recommendation of hold. We got an intrinsic price from two models, the DDF model and multiple evaluation. We got the final intrinsic price of 48.68. The stock price that we did our model is 52.95. We give a recommendation of hold because of the following reason. The revenue expectation will be neutral despite the high pet food sales. Our segment has experiencing sales decline for recent years. However, General Mills have been one of the companies that give up sta stable dividend payout through since 1980s. Another reason why we give a recommendation of hope is because General Mills being in the defense industry, it is less, it is less sensitive to the market downturn that we're currently Company experiencing right now. All right, thank you, thank you all for listening to our presentation. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask.